I really want to acknowledge, you know, this very unique aspect um, of uh, early childhood education. Now, um, I would like to say that there are many reasons, you know, for us to continue growing the early childhood care and education sector. Um, top reason must be that in Singapore, we will develop every child to the best of his potential. And uh, this starts from his early years. So that must be the driving force. Uh, the second is, of course, it's really important to support families too. And in today's context, uh, we already have dual income families, both parents work. And uh, a shift that will continue is that uh, even the grandparents, many of them will continue working you know, for a variety of reasons. So supporting families is another very important reason why we grow early childhood. Third, of course, is that uh, for the people who have, you know, decided to give of themselves, you know, to be part of early childhood, I think uh, they certainly deserve uh, professional development. It's the setting up of the National Institute for Early Childhood Education, um, which uh, started preparations from about three years ago, and then from 2019, it became uh, operational. And we can see in our interactions with uh, uh, the team at NIEC that it's progressing well. Um, so a lot of effort put into early childhood sector. Now, of course, um, having the NIEC, you know, uh, be a, a key coordinator of the professional development uh, for those who are wishing to join the sector and for those who are already in the sector to upgrade their skills, learn more about pedagogy and to, you know, help our children and families even more effectively. So one of the uh, initiatives that we have is a progressive HR practices early adopter program. We call it Project Joy. This uh, focuses on the HR uh, capabilities in the sector and uh, to help the operators better plan and develop their training roadmaps. And that is so important uh, because the people who have invested their time in this sector do want to continue to grow. I was very happy that uh, this program had uh, 135 operators on board and um, they benefited quite a large number of their employees. And so with this as a backdrop, I think we are happy that there are now about 1,900 available openings. They are mostly for jobs, meaning that the operators uh, do want to bring people on board, not necessarily just on traineeships and attachments because they're confident that they have vacancies to fill. The NIEC team said that service orientation is a key a competency, is, is something that is very valuable for early childhood. But the most important of all is the love you know, for children and uh, the interest uh, to care for them. This uh, gives us the you know, uh, hope and optimism that um, it's not just, you know, the uh, educational institutes that uh, can produce uh, people who can join the sector, but mid-career individuals can also consider joining.